fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the Oregon Trail. The pioneer trail to Oregon was a dangerous trail. Whoever rode it faced miles of lonely country where marauding bands of Indians swept down from the barren hills, where bad men and buzzards waited to attack the weary traveler. Along the wagon tracks, the broken remains of burnt wheels and the tattered canvas that once covered prairie schooners were mute evidence A constant warning to all who passed. Beware. Keep your eyes sharp and your guns loaded. There's danger on the Oregon Trail. But danger was the farthest thing from the mind of Randy Davis as he and his family prepared to start for the west. Everything's packed. We're all ready to hit the trail. Climb aboard, Marthy. Climb up, Deborah. We're starting off for Oregon. Land sakes, Randy, I forgot the spinning wheel. Come along, Deborah. Yes, mother. Look spry there. I want to get going before the dew's off the grass. <laughs> so you're bound and determined to go, eh, Davis? Bound and determined, Sally. Mighty risky taking the Oregon Trail, but you're lonesome. Why don't you wait until you can join up with the wagon train? Shucks, I've been sitting for months now. I'm tired of waiting. If I wait any longer, I won't never get to Oregon. Besides, I got a good wagon and good horses. I can make good time. Maybe I'll meet up with the wagon train along the way. There's bound to be some of them where our trail joins the one heading out of St. Joe. What about engines and outlaws? Oh, engines and outlaws. I'm a good hand with a rifle. I can handle trouble. Hey, hey, Sidney, what makes you so old fired fearful for me? Well... Well, what? Some news just come over the telegraph, Davis. Lance Kennard shot his way out of a posse. When last seen, he was riding by his horse northwest from Longmeadow using a whip and spur. Lance Kennard... The fastest, meanest outlaw in the West. Handles his guns like chain lightning. Yes. But well, if Kennard's hitting northwest from Long Meadow, that means he ought to hit the Oregon Trail. His middle name is Trouble, Davis. He's an ornery coyote. Sure, but slick as a fox. Got more than 20 killings to his credit. He's cold and cruel. Yes, Randy. Oh, got a sack of wounds he'd already caught. <laughs> I guess we're all excited, aren't we, Pa? Well, Davis. Uh... Put the wheel in the wagon, Deborah. Yes, sir. Sakes alive, what's troubling you two men? Randy, you're staring at Mr. Sutter like, well, like the two of you was playing poker. Better think it over, Davis. Think what over? Randy Davis, what is it? Is something wrong? Well, uh, Sutter, thanks for, for the advice, but I don't think I'll take it. It ain't one chance in a thousand. I'd never meet up with that hombre. Meet up with who? Never mind, Martha. Come on, up you come. And about time, too. <laughs> Give me your hand, Debbie. I can get up by myself, Walt. <laughs> Well, I reckon this is it. Adios, Davis. I wish you clear skies and plenty of water along the way. Adios to you. 
If you get to Oregon, look us up. I'm not loco. I'm staying here. <laughs> well, we ain't. We're heading west. We ain't going to stop till we get to Oregon. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> here we go. Uh, get up there. Get along, horses. Get up there. The Oregon Trail. Mile after mile of lonely prairie where the rolling wheels had beaten out the track of the pioneers, where some reached their goal and others stopped along the way, died along the way. The Oregon Trail. It was night. Under the distant stars, two men were crouched beside a small fire. They heard the drumming of approaching hoofs. Oh, 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 no, steady there. Howdy, mister. Howdy. Been riding a long ways? Uh, did you come from Long Meadow? Maybe I have. Won't you get off your horse and come to the fire? There's a chill in the night air. I don't notice it. Well, there is. Up down, we'll give you a couple of strips of bacon and some coffee. Aren't you hungry? I always like to look over men before I move to join them. You can see us clear. But your face is in the shadow. How about coming closer so we can tell what you look like? Don't mind if I do. Now. How's this? Yeah, now I can see you good. This gent with me is named Wellman. I don't know him from a hole in the ground. Just met up with him myself. Wellman. Howdy. It's a pleasure. Uh, my name is Graham. I've been ranging out this way for Wolf. I'm a bounty hunter. Get paid for shooting the ornery critters so they won't... Never mind all the talk. He said bounty hunter. That's enough. Yeah. Well, anyway, my name's Graham. What's yours? I, I said... I heard you. My handle is Kennard. Kennard? Yeah. Kennard. First name, Lance. Lance Kennard. Well, glad you told me. I had to drag your name out of you like pulling the steer out of quicksand. Lance Kennard, huh? Glad to meet you, Mr... Kennard. Kennard. Well, well, you're a gunman. I seen posters up for you all over the West. You, you're a killer. You asked for it. Oh, oh you, you were too fast. You didn't give me a oh. Dumb little maverick trying to stand up against me. You sure smoked him down, Lance. I always do. Now speak up, Wilman. How come you were teamed up with this hombre? I told you to wait for me alone. Well, don't get your dander up, Lance. Could I help it if the kid come along while I was waiting for you? I couldn't tell him to vamoose, could I? No. No, not him. He was too all fired friendly. And I couldn't leave myself, could I? You told me to wait right here for you. Right here, and that's what I done. Yeah. Got away from the posse, huh? Sure I did. You gave him the slip? Sure I did. They'll never find me. There's only one thing uh, I'm a mite concerned about. Yeah? What's that? I saw a couple of riders coming toward me and didn't want them to notice me, so I pulled off the trail. They was heading for Long Meadows. I might have carried word to the posse. You're a real smart Aubrey, Lance. Real smart. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, them two riders, why should they trouble you? I don't know. There's something about them. It was pretty far away. One riding a paint horse and the other... Yeah? A white horse. The biggest white horse I ever saw. Shucks, forget it, Lance. It ain't like you to be worried about anything. Oh, I'm not worried, Wilman. But still and all, I don't need to wait around here. But I figure on doing is heading out along the Oregon Trail... We'll meet up with some pioneers, travel along with them, see? That's all right, so long as they don't know who you are. They won't. Just be sure you call me Lance, and that's all. But I'll watch my tongue. You'd better. Saddle up your horse. Hours later, the eastern sky paled. The sun came up. In the dawn, a coyote lifted his nose and howled. And drifting down from the sky, black wings against the gray, were the buzzards. Buzzards. Scavengers of the air. With the first faint glimmering of dawn, their sharp eyes had seen the sprawled figure lying motionless beside the dead embers of the fire. Now they wheeled in great arcs closer and closer. Soon they would settle to earth. A lone ranger and Tonto mounted on their great horses saw them in the sky. Buzzards, Tonto. Oh, that's right. Kimoshabi, what that? That's what they're after. That man's crawl beside that fire. Come on, Silver! Get him up, scout! The 
horsemen galloped across the plains. The buzzards wheeled, their wings lifting them higher as they flew away from the lonely fire, and the man sprawled on the ground. Steady, boys. Oh, got hey, <laughs> Fire cold. Here's the man's gun, Tonto. He dropped it. Oh, man, not move, Kimasabi. Lying on his face. His clothes covered with dew. That means he was shot last night. Ah. Easy, Tonto. We'll roll him over. Easy. Ah. Easy does it. Ah, him plenty young. <clears throat> One bullet. Tonto, is he? Ah, me not sure. Me try to find pulse. He looks as if he... Kimasabi. This fellow not dead. Bullet hit him plenty hard, but him still alive. Alive? Ah, you feel pulse. I don't fit. Yes, Tonto. It's very weak, but it's there. He is alive. But uh, can we keep him that way? Uh, we get blankets, cover him up, keep him warm. If we work plenty hard, maybe follow him live. How, how long has it been? We found you yesterday morning, Graham. You've been unconscious for a day and a half. You, you know my name. Your name was on your gun belt. Try to shoot it out with him. He was too fast on the trigger. What about Wellman? Did he get Wellman? Wellman? Yeah, a fellow I met. We were camping here. You were alone when we found you. Uh, here. Here, you you drink this. Howdy, Injun. All right. You, you drink. Thanks. Say, I, I never thanked you for saving my life. Isn't that all right? An Injun, a mask man. I wondered when you were going to mention that. Oh, I noticed it. A couple of days ago, I'd have reached for my guns pronto. But after what happened the night before last, I'm getting smarter. I'm judging a man by how he acts, not how he looks. The man who shot me looked like a nice fella. Graham, Tonto and I headed from Long Meadow. We heard that a posse was hey, out. Hey, am I loco? Huh? You not move. Oh. I reckon I can't, Injun. Not, not yet. But, mister, the hombre who shot me was Lance Kennard. What? You're certain? Certain, sure. He told me his name before he shot me. He's the man the posse was after. They lost the trail. We just happened to head this way. The worst doggone gunfighter in the West. Graham, which way did he go? His bullet knocked me flat, mister, and I couldn't move, but I wasn't unconscious till later. Yeah, it comes back to me now. Wellman wasn't just anybody. Him and Kennard arranged this meeting here. I just moseyed in without knowing. Now, which way did they go? I heard him talking. They, they struck out that way. Ah, uh, northwest. That way long Oregon Trail. Yeah, Injun. They said they'd find some wagon train or maybe just a single wagon. Nobody would know who they were. They'd just join up and head west. Oh, that bad. Canard, him plenty bad like loco wolf. Him make plenty trouble. Tonto, we leave our food and some blankets here. Can Graham make out all right? Uh-huh, him be all right. Gonna leave me. You going after that skunk? Somebody's got to, Graham. Well, let me go with you. I'd like another crack at that. Um... Oh. No, you can see you're too weak to travel. You stay here, Graham. But I'm all right. Stay here. You've got to get your strength back. I reckon you're right, mister. But you're taking an awful chance... Kennard is just plain poison. He wears two guns and he's faster than lightning. Stay here and take care of yourself. One or both of us will be back for you. Ready, Tonto? Uh, here, Scout. Here, Silver. Steady, big fella. <laughs> Adios, Graham. Adios. Adios. Adios to you. And watch yourself. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. There they go. Two of them. Against Kennard and Wellman. I reckon they can handle Wellman. But Kennard... I don't know. I wonder if, if I'm sending them to their death. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
back to our story. The ranger and Tonto headed northwest toward the Oregon Trail in search of Lance Kennard and Wellman. They moved slowly. The trail was hard to follow. And in the meantime, Kennard and Wellman had pressed their horses hard. As they drew rein on a ridge, they saw a single wagon on the winding trail below them. One wagon, Wellman. Yeah. A man and two women. I reckon it's nobody who knows what I look like. <laughs> Most of them that did know are dead, Kennard. Don't call me Kennard. I, I, I mean Lance. That's better. We'll head down the slope and bid them hardy. Take your hands off your guns, you idiot. Let them get suspicious right at once. Hardy. Huh? Oh, hardy, Chance. We're going to have company heading west. I reckon we are. You likewise. Yes, sir. Yep, we're heading for Oregon. My name's Davis, Randy Davis. This is my wife, Martha, my daughter, Deborah. Yeah, howdy, howdy folks. Howdy. 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 I don't think I caught your names. Yeah, we didn't mention them. My name's Wellman, Mr. Davis. My partner here, his name is, his name's Lance. Traveling all alone, huh, Mr. Davis? Shucks, sure, he's nothing to worry about. No, I reckon not, if the fellow's reasonably smart. Say, you don't mind if Wellman and me keep you company a while. We're heading west, too, make it more pleasant all around. Oh, Ma, isn't that just Jim Dandy? Why, you were just saying that with, with us having a whole chest full of gold coin, a couple more men along to help guide it. Oh, I went and said it, didn't I? Yes, you did, Deborah. Well, I reckon there's no way to put a lock on a young girl's tongue, is there? Uh, gold, did she say? Gold coins? Well, uh, well yes, yes. Uh, uh... Figure on buying a business when we get to her. Don't you worry one bit, Mr. Davis. Matter of fact, it's mighty fortunate for you that we happen along. Isn't it, Wellman? Why, it sure is. Uh, don't you see, Mr. Davis? Now there's two of us beside your husband to make sure nobody steals your gold. Yeah, yeah, Wellman's right. And as you can see, Mr. Davis, we're both wearing guns. And if anything goes wrong, we can use them. Yes, uh, I see. I, uh, I hope guns won't ever be needed. Get along there, horsey. Get up. Oh, Silver. 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 Oh,
And I didn't sleep a wink last night knowing they were around. Then order them away. I'm afraid to. Oh, I declare. You must be plum loco. They seem like good enough folks. Murphy, do you recollect before we started out, you and Deborah went back for the spinning wheel? Yes. When you come back, I've been talking to Lem Sutter. Yes. Remember you asked me if anything was wrong? Why, yes, but Murphy, I... Murphy, Lem Sutter runs a telegraph office. He just finished telling me that a gunman had escaped from a posse near Long Meadow. This gunman had headed northwest toward the Oregon Trail. His name was Lance Kennard. Lance Kennard? Rendon, you this mean... This fellow calls himself Lance. He might not be using his last name. I think it's him. And I think he's been playing cat and mouse with his just weak as chest. You're right, Davis. You? You was in the wagon all the time. You heard me. Every word. You're dead right. I am Kennard. I'm taking that gold right now. And seeing as it's too heavy to take on horseback, I'm also taking your wagon. You and your wife and daughter will be tied up and left here. Where are you? Oh! Randy! I just skinned your knuckles that time, Davis. Try it again and I'll aim different. Uh, now, unless you look forward to making a widow out of your wife, I uh, just lift your hands while I collect your gun. Uh, <laughs> That's fine and dandy. Hey, come back here. hey, what in thunder? It's Deborah. Lance! Lance! What's the matter with you, Wellman? I told you to take care of the girl. Where'd she get that horse? I couldn't help it, Lance. Honest, I couldn't. She must have been watching from the cottonwoods near the water hole. When she heard the shot, she must have seen plenty and guessed the rest. That's where the horses are. Before I got to her, she was gone. Well, you loco, get another horse and take after her. She took the fastest one. Oh, I see. That settles your hands, Kenora. Deborah's heading east. She'll bring help. Yeah. She's got no food, no water. She can ride for days without running into anyone. No, Davis. If anyone's licked, it's her. And you. <laughs> Tie him up, Wellman. I want to get my hands on that gold. <laughs> Silver, steady, boys, steady. Deborah, Deborah, it's you. You come back. Who's that mess, man? More doggone outlaws room in the Oregon Trail. I wasn't tied up like a turkey. Here, I'll untie you, Davis. Oh, uh, I met this man on the trail. He's going after Kennard and Wellman. They tied us up. They took the wagon and all the money we got in the world. Let me untie these ropes, Ma. Oh. Yeah. There you are, Davis. You're free now. Yes, yes, thanks. Hey, don't savvy this. You're wearing a mask. That you brought Debbie back here and set us free, and now you're going after Kennard. Yes. How long ago did he leave? Oh, it must be all the three hours. Mrs. Davis, sometime soon a posse ought to come along this way, heading from Long Meadow. There'd be an Indian with them, an Indian named Tonto. Tell him I've gone ahead. Indian named Tonto? But you can't tangle those two alone. They're sudden death. Kennard's the worst gunman in the West. Thanks, but I'll take my chances. Then I'm going with you. Suit yourself, Davis, but, but I... But nothing. Well, she's got his wind back now. I'm going with you. Very well. Into the saddle, then. Here, Silver. Gather your range. We're going to cover ground. Come on, Silver. Get up there, Bruce. An engine named Tonto. And that man called the white horse Silver. Ma, he's a brave man, isn't he? Yes, Deborah. Even if he is an outlaw, he's a brave man. But Pa hasn't got any guns. That masked man's the only one that's armed. He hasn't got a chance. Not, not against Canard. Deborah? That man's no outlaw. He's the Lone Ranger. It was hours later. In spite of the great distance he had covered, Silver was still fresh and tireless. It was Davis' horse that was worn out. Because of this, the two men had to travel slower. Meanwhile, the posse had found Graham. Two men were left to care for him, and the posse passed onward. Tonto met them a short distance from the Oregon Trail and led them back so that when Randy Davis looked back over the top of the ridge, he saw the posse coming. Look, look back. Here comes the posse. And there ahead of us, Davis, is your wagon. I want you to wait here for the posse. I'm going after those men alone. Sure, we'll wait for... What's that? You're going alone? Yes. Oh, Mr. Your loco. The posse will clean them out in no time. Davis, listen to me. Oh, oh there. The posse attacks. Kennard and Wellman will shoot it out. It's open country and a lot of honest men will be killed before the outlaws are caught. I went alone. They'll let me get close before they open fire. Maybe so. But when they do start shooting at you, finish. I've been against odds before. You tell the posse to wait here until it's over. Come on, Silver. Uh, uh, whoever he is, he's sure got nerve. I wouldn't take that chance, not for a million dollars. Hold on. Rain up. Hold on, fellas. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, who's that hombre that just rode away? That mask friend. Him go after bad men alone. Listen, Ancient. That was the way he wanted it. He said there'd be less shooting if he took care of himself. Look, them stop wagon. Them see him come. Who is that hombre? He gives me the willies. 
He's got his hands at his sides and he's walking his horse. Yeah, I see him. Should I shoot? Pick him off? No. No, never mind the rifle. Let him come. He's alone. All right, mister, that's close enough. I said that's enough. Stand there. Kennard, you might as well give up right now. Nobody takes Lance Kennard. Nobody. Anything, fella? No? Look at his eyes behind that mask. Stop that gun, Wellman. Stop it. Don't, don't come any closer, mister. I'm warning you. Kennard, you're a gunfighter. You're a bully and a coward. I'm calling you, Kennard. Nobody... Nobody can talk to me like that. I'm talking to you like that. I'm calling you, Kennard. Reach for your guns. I'll kill you. Reach for your guns. Yeah. You can't bluff me. You... All right, I will draw. Oh, my hand, my hand. The only thing that's hurt is your pride. What about you, Wellman? No, no. I got my hands up high, mister. You shot the gun right out of Lance's fists. I'm coming peaceable. All right, Wellman. Hi! Come and get them! Yeah, mister, I never seen anything like it. You sure made Kennard eat humble pie. Sutter, you'll see if they get to jail. We sure will, mister. Sling a rope around those hombres, boy. Right. Right. He must have you. Hossie, lead men to take care of Graham. Him get better. Good. And our work here is done, Tonto. It's time for us to travel. Steady, Silver. Uh, hip. Get him up, Scal. Come on, Silver. Who was that mess, Jeff? He beat me the draw. Nobody ever did that before. He sure did, Kennard. He shoved your reputation right down your throat. Captured the two of you single handed. Well, who was he? You might as well know now as later, Kennard. That masked man who faced you down was the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Oh, yeah. There's nobody in the West can stand up against him, Kennard. Not even you. Well, doggone my hide. It looks like we'll get to Oregon after all. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 